But first, a new use for an old thing. Everybody loves a good upcycle. We really love those upcycles here in Studio 5, and this one fits perfectly into your fall decor. You can take metal mason jar rings and turn them into a centerpiece or a decorating accent. It's a project you can do now, and it will last all of the way through November. Sunil is joining me with this how-to, and this is one of those clever projects that everybody sees, gushes over, and then wants to know, how did you do that? Yeah, and I did see it too, just so you know. Like, this was not something I just came up with. I saw this years ago. And I, in the back of my mind, I was like, I think I have a bag of those tucked somewhere deep. I bet a lot of us do. And those beans? Yes. Oh, yeah. It's a lot less full now, but this was like full. Canning of rakes. Canning jar, of yeah. canning jar rakes. Yeah. yeah. And so I was like, I've got to, I've got to just do that and then share it with everybody because I just have so much fun getting creative with these ideas. So. Well, your creativity is on full display. You say this isn't a Sue Neal original project, yeah. but you really have Sue neal I this yes, I like that. You I have. put my twist on it. Yes. You have. So let's talk through some of the examples of the different variations of this project that you've, sure. that you've designed. Yeah, and there's really kind of like three steps to it. There's the, your actual rings, which you're going to alter, and, and we'll talk about that in a sec. There's your centerpiece and then your display. Okay. So you just got to think of that way. But these are so fast. You could make one of these in 20 minutes. Really? No lie. The yes. impact here, though, is really cool. This is yeah. really elegant, this first Thank one. Thank you. Yeah, I wanted to do that. You know, because depending on your decor, you may be more of that classic you know, metallic gold lady. Oh you maybe love the pop of orange or maybe you love black and white for more modern or, you know, kind of farmhouse shabby over here. And this so. could carry you into the November season, the Thanksgiving season. Oh, yeah, season absolutely. About. Here's yeah. your classic orange yep. you, you referenced. Mm -hmm. Just traditional, kind of country rustic, really, yeah. really cute. Yep. All right, and this one has a painted finish. That one had what? So that's washi tape. So let's, oh. should we talk about how I alter the rings? Sure. Two main ways. I mean, this is a ring here. You could just leave it the metallic color if you want, uh -huh. but why? But why? <laughs> when you What's can. the fun in that? So the easiest way to do this by far is washi tape. Okay. And we probably all have a stash of that as well, yes, right? Yes, we do. Um, and so, like, for instance, this one, I use these three different washi tapes. The, the half inch works just about perfect. It just covers the ring. So on that one, I just use some gold that I had at home and then I bought one at Michael's and just alternate them. It's kind of fun to have a few different patterns. Yeah. Kind of mixes it up a little bit. That yeah. width is perfect though. It leaves you a little silver frame exactly. on the outside. Yeah, but it's think, clean, uh -huh. you know, so you're not trying to wrap around the whole thing. You're just going around that outside edge. I'm glad you put yeah. out the different patterns though because that mm -hmm. adds a texture and an interest. Definitely. So easiest, you can just do that like in five, 10 minutes. Washing and your tape. kids can help you with that as or well. Or we can paint. Just we can paint, yeah. So um, this one I just painted with orange um, uh, spray paint. You could use a brush as well, but the spray paint's a lot easier to do them super quick because you need 24 of these. So that's a lot of painting, right? Yeah. So I just laid it out in the back on some cardboard, sprayed it. The one thing with the spraying, it is easy, but you have to wait for it to dry and you need a couple of coats. Okay. You know, like one coat's just not going to be opaque enough, right? So I think I did two on the orange and for the cream I had to do three coats to get that. You said the curse word of all DIY projects and that's wait. Like, wait. I know. You have we to, need to wait. Do Which is why I love the washi tape too. But then again, I love the impact of that orange pumpkin. Yeah. Right? And this one you've got, it, it looks fully covered, but could you leave the metal poking through if yeah, you wanted well, it more rustic? Yeah, I'll give you an example. Here, why don't you go sure. ahead and try this. So, go ahead and start um, sanding that. So, oh. this kind of farmhouse one down in this corner over here. Yeah. I just kind of went around and exposed those ridges and like just that. exposed the um, metal underneath just to give it that real kind of shabby look. So yeah. you can do that with the orange as well. And see, like, that looks good if you did that with everything. But I wanted, like, a solid orange sure. pop with that. Well, it goes to show so, it can tweak to, to fit a bunch of different styles. Exactly. If you're going for the shiny, glossy modern mm -hmm. or if you're going for the farm And you could do a matte on that. So, yeah. so many different options, so many different spray paints as well. Okay. So that's it. Then you have to assemble it. Do you want to try? I do. I okay. do want to try. So easy. Now, uh, this is a uh, wrapping paper tube. Okay. And I just find that's easy to kind of get them all on uh -huh. um, and make sure they're all going the same direction. <laughs> and then you're just going to thread that jute through all of them. And then the magic is going to happen, man. It's just going to pop together into Did your you pumpkin shape. Did you say magic? I love <laughs> magic. It's so fun. So while you're doing that, let me explain why I use jute. Because I tried a bunch of different things. I tried wire. I tried just like a cord. Why I like jute is 
well, when you tie this all together, you want it to be loose enough so that it kind of settles into a nice pumpkin shape. Wire tended to make it go a little skiwampus. Okay. Um, and cord was too loose. So this had enough grip on it that you just, it was perfect. So I'm a big fan of the juice. Of the juice. This. Yes. Okay, we're there. You ready? Okay, I'm gonna pull it off. What's happening? Okay. What's happening? Now you're gonna tie it. Just, just bring it together. Don't even worry about how it looks. Why am I nervous? And just all the real way? tight. Mm -hmm. Real tight. Okay, so now it's gonna look like this. You're gonna lay it down. Uh huh. And just start overlapping. <gasps> So there it, it is. all kind of tucks in the same direction. Oh my gosh. Now really tight, tie that into a knot. Oh my gosh, it just fell together. I know, this, I told you it's, it's like It's like these rings were begging to be turned into a pumpkin. <laughs> and then you can just trim that off, we'll tuck it in You're for now. You're the canning fairy godmother, look I at know. you. <laughs> Boom, look at that, pumpkin That's shape. so cute. Now these are the larger um, wide mouth jars. This is the smaller standard size. Yeah. So I think it's fun to have a few different sizes on it as well. For a little grouping, right? Right, okay, <gasps> you ready for the next step? Let's do the center. So you got to do the center. As cute as this is, it's not a pumpkin <laughs> until it has a stem. Yes. This was so fun. It was like a treasure hunt in my house. <laughs> and you can do this too. This is why this can be so inexpensive because I literally just walked around. So I went out to my wood pile. I found just a nice thick branch. Yeah. This one I painted gold. Um, this one is like my favorite because it's so, so <laughs> This is a paper, actually you could even do that with a, a toilet paper roll too. There it is, that's what you I thought that was. Just cut it lengthwise and then just roll it. Uh huh. And then I, look how fun that is, right? It and I did curls. that with the black. I just painted it black and tucked it in. Uh huh. Um, this was cinnamon sticks, just a bundle of cinnamon sticks. Clever. Um, burlap and a candle. I like the candle, yeah, I like the burlap, yeah. you can't go wrong. Yeah. Really you're looking for texture and interest in that center. Exactly, you do, and think about proportion. If it's too big, it's gonna overwhelm your pumpkin. And you've layered some extras, the leaves, yeah. the tool. Again, the... stole things from my house. I went, don't laugh, but I, the, the sunflower on that one, I just went to my front door wreath, no kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and I just snipped off a sunflower. Same with some of these leaves. I've got some silk leaves that you could spray paint that gold. Yeah, you know, you and tuck that in. Look at those just for a second. That's yes. about the only thing I purchased um, because I wanted, you know, pumpkins have all that fun, viney, curly mm -hmm, stuff. Mm -hmm. So look at the fun tops of these, right? And I will almost tuck that into every pumpkin because I just loved Love the it. effect of that. Look yeah. how you've styled them too with the layers and the candlesticks right. and the cake plates. I mean, that's half of the aesthetic that's appeal. That's the last thing I think is the display. Yeah. Again, from my house. Love it. I didn't buy anything. I found candlesticks. So this is like a candlestick from my bedroom. Yeah. Thiefed it for the season. <laughs> um, and then just a plate. These were some cake pedestals I had. Um, this is also a cake ped pedestal. Yeah another uh, candle holder. So, and it's kind of fun to have the different heights. Yes. I mean, if you're just doing one, but think how like show stopping this would be, right, in a center of a Such table. Such a fun project. But if you did a bunch of them and layered them in, yes. the, in the middle of your table, like, wow. We're out of time, awesome. but I heard you sure. have to ask you quickly about yeah. the leftover canning rings if you want a bonus <gasps> idea. Right. This is super so clever too. I had this wreath and I just wanted to add a little personal to it. So these are canning rings and I just die cut some letters paper on the back, super easy, but it just kind of makes it more, it stands out more. Oh, brought it to yeah. life totally, and you pointed out a great gift tag Yeah, idea you could too. totally use one of these, put a sentiment in it, and hang it from uh, a gift bag, and that would be cute too. I love your Why mind. didn't I do that? Why didn't you do that? I don't do know, because I wasn't busy enough. still time, because <laughs> you can still rob things from your house, you still have some rings left yeah. over, and hey, you also have a fun card kit available. We I do, let people know yes, about. and it fits in with this perfectly. It's called Folk Art Fall. We just did it on our last card making cruise and it is now for sale on my website. And it's five cards and a gratitude journal and it's really darling. It's all packaged up there for you. You can yes. send that handmade love. Sue's mm -hmm. made it easy. Thank you so much. My